We're going to create a templates folder with a base and navbar templates using Bootstrap. We'll also create the user templates folder and create the register HTML template in it. First, we create the base HTML, and this will be a shell of a standard HTML document with its required tags. Let's open and close the HTML tag. Then we create the head opening and closing tags and inside we'll put some meta tags that describe some of the characteristics of the document, including its character set, which we'll set as UTF-8, and the viewport size. We're going to be using Bootstrap, a presentation framework that will make it easier to make the application more appealing visually. So let's grab the CSS for Bootstrap from the recommended CDN. Finally, we'll make the title a Jinja block, which we can override from each one of the templates. Now we start with the body of the page. We'll insert all the content from other templates. So we make this a container bootstrap element and inside we'll define a content Jinja block. Finally, we need the JavaScript component of bootstrap. So we'll add it at the bottom of the page. Save the file and now let's create the navbar HTML template. This navbar we'll use is actually a bootstrap component. So I'm pretty much going to copy their initial setup and then customize it to have a login and register navigation elements. Next, we'll create a folder inside the templates directory called user. As you know from other courses, I like to keep the templates for each module separated in folders. Inside, we'll create a register HTML, which essentially will be a bootstrap form. So first, we'll extend the base HTML template so that this template is embedded within the base HTML file. We define the title using a Jinja block and then create the content block. Let's add the navbar right at the beginning of the content block. Next, we create a bootstrap row to contain all the form. We then define a div that will be six units wide and an offset of three units from the left of the page. We put a registration subtitle and then define an error block if there is any error being passed to the template. Now it's time to create the form. It will be a post since we will be sending data from the page and we define the action using the Jinja URL4 property. This is a best practice. We don't use actual URLs anywhere on our forms so that they can be dynamically generated. Next, we create the input fields using the bootstrap recommendations. First the username and then the password. Finally, we create a submit button and that's it, we're done. Save the file. Our last step is to modify the user views controller. First, we add the render template module from Quart. Add the methods to the view so that it accepts both get and post. And finally, add the render template function. But notice the format here it's return await and not await return. Save the file and start the application. On your browser, head over to localhost 5000 slash register and you should see a registration form. Looking good. Now let's actually read these variables from the form on the next lesson.